Taurus. This Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of September. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. Please only take what resonates with you. Never force it to fit, Taurus. All right, so let's hop in. Let it be great, of course. Please do not forget to like, share, comment. Do subscribe. Hit that bell so that you guys are notified when I do upload content. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty, so let's see what is coming in for you all in love, Taurus. Let's see what's coming in for Taurus in love, first half of September. If you guys, um, not, I'm sorry, let me go back to Taurus. The extended, I will pin the link in the comments below. Alrighty, alright, so let's see what's going on with Taurus. Past, present, and future energy for Taurus. All right, so let's see what was going on with Taurus in the recent past. The triangle card. All right, so you guys could have been in some love triangle, Taurus. All right, um, that could have been you confused between two people. Okay, maybe someone had you in a love triangle, like a third party situation. All right, with the love triangle card. Let's see, present energy. Present energy for Taurus. Let's see. We have twin flame. All right. So some of you guys can be um, in a twin flame connection. All right. Maybe you feel like someone is your twin flame. Maybe a twin flame recently just came into your life with a twin flame card. Maybe your twin flame has you in a love triangle. Um, maybe you're dealing with two people and you feel as if one of them are your twin flame. Something like that. All righty. Um... Let's see, Taurus, what's coming into the near future? Blonde female. Alrighty. So maybe you're making some type of change within yourself. All right. I'm with the blonde female. Maybe you're changing your hair color, the way you dress, the way you look. You're changing something about yourself. Maybe you guys look younger. Um, like, so for example, you guys can be 40 and look like you're 30. Um, but when I see the blonde female, this can be either you or another female, or like I said, this is someone that looks, you know, like young for their age or looks good for their age. Um, let's kind of go into the blonde female, because that can be a lot of different things. Like I said, maybe you do have blonde hair, like a reddish orange hair. Um, let's see, blonde female, long distance. Okay, you guys may find out about another female at a distance. Okay, with the long distance card. It could also cause distance and separation between you and someone. But we also have spiritual growth and communication. Okay, so someone could be going through some type of awakening. Maybe someone's going to open up and communicate with you. All right. Um, but yeah, let's see how this is all going to unfold, Taurus. All right. Uh oh, let's see, Taurus. Love messages for Taurus. First half of September. Let's see what's going on with Taurus in love. First half of September. Taurus. All right, Taurus. So let's see the person you're dealing with. Let's see what they're all about. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. All right. This could be someone from your past with the Six of Cups in reverse. All right. Um, this person could be letting go of their past and, you know, wanting to move forward with you. The Six of Cups in reverse could be like cutting the cord to the past or ending a past situation and focusing on the future with you. So, you know, ready for something new. Okay. Um, let's see their current feelings towards you. We have the Strength card. So this can be some attraction here. Maybe someone's really attracted to you. Could be a Leo. We do have the Strength card here. Maybe things get wild and, and hot between you guys with the shame card. Could be. Maybe someone can't seem to control themselves around you. Let's see what their current feelings are towards the relationship. Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, someone feels really happy around you. They, The Ten of Cups is good. Like, someone feels like you complete them. Like, they feel like you're the Ten of Cups. Like, you're everything they're looking for. Someone could um, want to start a family with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is like, like someone just feels completely happy with or around you. All right. Um, let's see what are your person's current beliefs about love. We got a page of pentacles. So 
this person is um, wanting to make some type of offer. Um, I feel like this person has taken their time to get to know you or like has studied you or the relationship or with the Page of Pentacles, they're finally ready to, like I said, they're moving forward, leaving the past behind and focusing on the future. So this could be someone coming in with some type of offer with the Page of Pentacles. All right, let's see what you should know about how this person is feeling. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so they, they see you as wish fulfillment. Yeah. They are really feeling you, Taurus. All righty. Um, let's see what they're hiding from you. The Seven of Cups. Confusion. They can be confused. Maybe they're in their head. They could have been talking to someone else. With the seven of cups here. Uh, let's see what they're hiding behind their mask. The seven of wands. So the seven of wands can be like arguments, disagreements. Um, someone that's determined. Someone that's willing to fight for this. So they might be, this person might be a little aggressive. And you may not know. Okay. Um, but I'm not seeing the seven of wands as anything bad. This is one standing their ground and willing to fight for this relationship or willing to fight for you. Okay. Um, let's see what would your person like to have in this relationship that they feel is missing. We have the magician. So they're trying to manifest this. They're trying to manifest this union. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Alrighty. Um, let's see how your person feels about you physically or sexually. Eight of Cups. Let me see. Eight of Cups and the Empress. That's you, Taurus. So this is a different level, okay? I feel like what I mean by that is like to go from the 8 to the 10, even though this is here, and this is in your energy, it's telling me like either you're like one of their best sexual partners because we have like the empress here, and maybe they never had like sex with someone like you, or it's like they just think highly of you, they think like you're sexy, independent, you're confident, you're abundant, you're glowing, in, like the sex is good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they walked away from something that was not as nearly as good as you are. Like the, the situation that they were walking away from or whoever they walked away from, it's like they know they're going towards better. Like they know this is a better situation. And it's more than just, I feel like, the physical and sexual. Some of them do want to have a baby with you, though. Okay? Um, now let's see what do they want from you. We have the Ten of Wands. Hmm. So they don't want you to give up on them or say no. I feel like this person does have baggage, some issues, some problems. They got things they need to work through. And with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it's like they just, like they're making progress. They're doing better. Things are changing in their life. I thought like this person kind of wants you to, to give them a chance. Okay. Um, someone was in a triangle. Look, the devil, queen of wands, and the three of cups in reverse. There was a triangle for some of you guys. All right, Taurus. So let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Messages for. Taurus. Let's see, love messages for Taurus. All right, we have the Six of Cups in reverse for what your person is all about. Let's see if this is about Six of Cups in reverse. The hangman. Yep, there could have been a delay or setback, and it could have been due to a past situation. All right, the hangman. We have the Ace of Cups. So this is the new love between you guys. So for some of you guys, you guys were in a triangle and you were waiting for something to end. There goes the Empress, that's you, okay? Um, give me one second, Taurus, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry about that, Taurus. So let's see, we have the strength card here. This is in their current feelings towards you. Like I said, I feel like someone can't seem to control themselves. 
Let's see what the strength card is here. We have a chariot and the king of cups. So this could be a cancer. This is someone that fell in love with you. This could have been love at first sight for some of you guys. All right, let's see how the shame card is here for their feelings towards you. Taurus, love messages for Taurus. I have the shame card here for how your person is feeling towards you, Taurus. Let's see. We have mirror. Mirroring each other's self-image. Relationship reflects old wounds. Introspection. All right. So you guys could be mirroring each other. Maybe they are your self-image. Meaning like they are your, your self-reflection. So maybe you guys have been through the same things. All right. Um... Maybe you're making this person realize and see certain things within themselves that need to, that they need to fix. Um, when it comes to relationships, we want more message for Taurus. We have mask, not showing true feelings, hide, pretend, dwell. I mean, sorry, dilute the gaslighting. Let's see. Let me one more message. Someone is so if the mask is here with the mirror then someone is not telling how they feel or someone is not being honest um, about their, like, it's like someone likes someone, but they're not being really open about it. So, Taurus, if this is you, you might call this person like your friend, like, oh, my friend, my friend, my friend. But when you guys are together, you guys are like boyfriend and girlfriend or something like that. So it's like you haven't fully accepted the fact that you like this person as much as you do, or it could be them that feels like this. And someone could, you know, be putting on a mask okay um or hiding something or not being honest but there's really strong feelings here and there could have been love at first sight or like you guys fell in love with each other like really fast you know um so let's see give me one more message for this for Taurus let's see the Grim Reaper the relationship is over no second chances going to transform your life so you guys are finally making a decision to move on from someone okay um some relationship is over there could have been a third party and it's over for good and you're not giving that person a second chance, okay? Um, there could just be new love that came into your life. And you're going to move forward with this person. Maybe you feel like it's love at first sight. Or what I'm getting is um, someone is someone could be trying to come back into your life. And you're not going to give them a second chance, okay? Um, there could be, like, someone fell in love with someone. There's there's a lot of, there's love here. Like, I'm getting love at first sight or something like that. Someone definitely feels like someone is the one. Like, like oh, it's love at first sight. Like, Let's see, going to the Grim Reaper. Five of Wands Reverse and the High Priestess. Yeah, like someone's trying to come out of conflict with you and work things out with you. And your intuition is telling you to move on. You you're just like, no, I'm not, I'm not taking you back. No second chances. Okay. Or um Yeah. Alright, let's see. Going to the Grim Reaper, sorry. Yep, see, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and love you. So you guys had to let go and love your, like, you guys let go and love yourself. Like, you guys um, were coming out of a karmic relationship, okay? And there was a lot of lessons there in that situation, and you're letting go of that karmic relationship, and you guys have to, like, you guys have found, so towards either you feel like you found your ten of cups, or this person feels like they found their ten of cups, and someone is definitely coming out of a karmic relationship, there was a love triangle, and someone is just not giving someone second chances, someone is not giving in, someone is not, like, they're like, no, I just, no, you triggered me, you hurt me, there was too many lessons, I love myself enough, I love myself more than that, I'm not gonna give into this anymore, um, I'm not even going to put on a mask or pretend as if I want this. I don't because someone's found, found happiness somewhere else. Okay. So give me one second. I'm so, so sorry, Taurus. All right. Sorry about that, Taurus. So, um, yeah, it's like someone is like, they're leaving a karmic situation, um, our relationship and someone is just like, I'm not giving second chances. I'm not doing this. I'm not hurting myself again. I, I'll be like, you know, like not stupid to go back, but maybe you just feel like, like, no, I, I, I found new love. There is love in my life and there's no way that I would go back to a relationship with you, like go back to you or be in a relationship with you or something like that. All right. So let's see how the Ten of Cups is here. Um, this is in their current feelings towards a relationship with the Ten of Cups. So let's see. Ten of Cups. 
for Taurus. We have the Three of Wands. So yeah, this person, someone wants to see this relationship move forward. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. They're definitely coming towards you, taking action on the situation. Um, this is unexpected changes. So maybe this person, like I said, just, it just came into your life out of nowhere. And you guys are about to move forward and have some type of family, some type of relationship. Because that's in the cups is there. And you feel like this is, is right. Maybe they, they feel like this with you. But um, whoever this person is, you just, Taurus, like you're in love. They're in love. Both you guys are in love or something like that. Let's see, Knight of Swords. Yeah, I see someone was unhappy with the, the Sun in Reverse. Um, or someone had just came out of a situation. Yeah, I see someone was heartbroken, torn, kind of in the middle of a third-party situation, kind of feeling lost in their love life. And someone came in and turned things around for you or you turned things around for them. All right? So let's see why the Page of Pentacles is here. This isn't our current beliefs about love. Page of Pentacles, okay? So maybe you guys share the same beliefs. Um, we have the Magician. Um, so when I see the magician in the page of pentacles, it's like, okay, so this is telling me that this person, they want to, they just want to, not like they just want to hop into it, but it's like, they don't want to miss out on this. So it's like with the magician, they're trying to hurry up and, and get with you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they want to get, like, as you guys are together, they want to get to know you. Usually the page of pentacles is the energy where someone takes their time to get to know you and then makes the offer. But with the ma magician here, they're like, no, I got, this got, this has to happen. Knight of swords, they're like, yeah, I want, I want to see this move forward. So it could be a Virgo or a Gemini, but they're definitely like, no, like I want to manifest this. I want this. I hope this person wants the same thing as me. So you guys can, could have met someone that's like a hopeless romantic or like I said, love at first sight or like they, they like you, you like them. They're like, Hey, let's just jump into it. You know, it's something like that I'm getting. All right. Um, so let's see. We have the Nine of Cups. And um, this is what you should know about how your person is feeling. So let's see. Nine of Cups for Taurus. Four of Swords Reverse. Yeah. So the Four of Swords Reverse is like someone waking up, realizing something. Someone coming out of isolation. Someone, you know, like... Maybe they were in just like a depressed state or they weren't really getting out, dating, mingling, doing much. And maybe you've, let's see, four of swords reverse. Yeah, see the I was about to say, yeah, the five of pentacles. They were going through something. Maybe this was like a bad breakup or something they went through. And like they're around you and they're happy and they feel like you're with fulfillment and everything they're looking for. You guys make cuddles, spend a lot of time with each other. Um, I feel like you guys are helping them get over a situation or they're helping you get over a person. The seven of wands. I thought they were kind of blocked, kind of guarded at first. Yep. See, someone was guarding their heart, but then it's like, it's, I feel like this person, not with you, but I feel like in general, it could have been with you. Maybe they were at first, but if, if, if that's the case, it's like, <laughs> it's like you got in easily. Cause it's like this energy here is someone like kind of stuck, feeling stuck. But it's like also someone coming out of isolation and no longer feeling stuck. And I thought maybe this person like, you know what, I'm, I'm coming out of isolation. I no longer want to feel stuck. You know, I'm ready for love. And they, boom, met you. Okay. So let's see. Seven of Cups is here. This is what they're hiding from you. So let's see how the Seven of Cups is here, um, Taurus, for, the, for what this person is hiding from you. The Two of Cups. See? The two of Cups is here. The Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, that's you. So they, they feel like there's a, a connection here, soulmate connection. Queen of Pentacles, like I said, they think highly of you. The Queen of Pentacles is then wanting to like wipe you, be in a committed relationship with you, wanting to have children with you. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like what they're, I feel like they're telling you this, but not telling you everything. So it's kind of like they're kind of confused and they're just like, dang, I can't believe I feel like this already. You know, should I tell Taurus? Should I say something? You know, so I feel like they have all these different feelings and emotions towards you already, and they're kind of keeping it to themselves. Um, but I feel like you kind of know. Um, let's see. Yep, see the Ace of Pentacles, see? Someone wants to commit to you. I feel like this person also maybe, you know, like, they could just be in their head, like, am I going into this? Am I doing things right? Like, what should I do? Because the Seven of Cups is this confusion, choices, decisions. But then I also feel like this person is like, dang, I, you know, in the past, I jumped straight into things, but you know, like, I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's just like they just feel really confused, but I know, like, when it comes to you and how they feel towards you, they know how they feel. Um, but I feel like it, it can just be like, um, because the Seven of Cups can just be just 
a lot of emotions, like overwhelmed, like just a lot of different emotions. So let's see. Break down the Seven of Cups again. The Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. See, okay, so they're confused. Like, should I take things slow or speed things up? Like, should I take things slow? And... But then right here, they're like, no, because they don't want to lose this situation. So, yeah, that's what they're confused about. They don't know if they should take things slow or just, like, just speed things up and move forward. Six of Wands. They're, they don't know. You know, they're confused. But all I know is that they want to be with you. Okay? Um, let's see how the Seven of Wands is here. This is what they're hiding behind their mask. So, let's see. Seven of Wands. Her towards this person. Nine of Swords. And we have a Two of Swords. So, they could have been confused about the other situation, all right, that they were in. Maybe a lot of anxiety, stress, guilt, regrets, but they're coming out of that energy, okay? Um, what's the Nine of Swords? Temperance. They're finding peace in the situation. They're healing, letting go of another situation. So, if they were the, if they were the ones that had another situation or, like, some type of past situation that was still in their energy, like, they, they're definitely finding peace in that situation and moving on from it. Um, and letting go of that. They could have been confused. Maybe in their head kind of felt stuck. But they're not anymore. I thought this person is determined to move on or determined to have you or be with you. And that's what they really want. You know, so I don't think they're focusing on another situation or a past situation anymore. Um, or you aren't, of course. Let's see, the magician is here. More Virgo and Gemini energy. So... Let's see. This is um, what would this person like to have that they feel is missing in their relationship? So let's see. The Six of Swords coming together. This manifesting coming together. We have the Five of Wands. They're. They hope that um, because this can be outside influences with the Five of Wands, the Pentacles. Yeah, they're they 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 hope that things can work out. They hope that um, there's no outside influences that come in between you guys. But I also feel like with the five of wands, maybe you guys can have your differences in this relationship, um, you know, and, but I don't like, I don't really feel like that, but it could be where you guys are having your differences, you guys are just like two different people, but you guys are both willing to work on this relationship and move it forward, but this is something that they want to have in this relationship that they feel is missing, so I feel like um, this person wants this relationship and they don't want any outside influences to come in between you guys. It's, it's one person in the three of pentacles. So I like this person really wants to work on things, have a relationship with you without other people coming in between you guys or getting in between this relationship. See, three of cups reverse. It doesn't have to be that there was a love triangle, but we see that there was. Three of cups reverse doesn't have to just be romantic. It could be family, friends, whoever. But they want to move forward with you. They're hoping that this other situation is not going to come in between you guys or... Um, someone is not gonna like come in between you guys and, and stir some shit up. Going to the three of cups reverse. Yeah, I see the four of wands and the two of wands reverse. And then we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So the three of cups, four of wands. You know, nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this is a person that wants to be in a relationship with you. And they break down this to a long reverse. This to a long reverse. Six of Cups and the High Priestess. Seven of Pentacles. I I feel like this person wants you to know that like they want to be with you and that um they're not going back to someone because you may you may question if this is gonna go anywhere. You may question if this relationship is gonna go anywhere. And I feel like this person is invested in you. Or like they're, they want to invest in you. Like I feel like this person wants something long term with you. I feel like I, if, it, if it has to do with a past person, no. Because look, look at all this energy here. You know, so someone's definitely not going back to a past situation. Whether that's you, Taurus, or them. And someone may feel like this relationship may not go anywhere due to a third party. Maybe there was between you guys. Or because they were still kind of caught up in a relationship. Or, you know, like I said, this could be people that were coming between you guys. All right. Um... But the Three of Cups in reverse can also be Taurus, now that I look at it. This is someone trying to come back and work things out with you, and you want nothing to do with them anymore. anymore. Okay? Um, and with the Three of Cups, they may have come back around recently, and you're realizing, like, yeah, I'm glad we didn't move forward. I, I see why this didn't move forward. 
you know, you're just like, mm -mm, no, I'm going to move forward. I'm moving on. Like, it's not even worth it. You know, it's not worth risking my, my new relationship or this new situation is what I'm also getting. All right. So we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Empress here for how they um, feel towards you um, physically and sexually. Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah. Justice. Yeah. So like I told you guys, like this person is like, um, they could have betrayed you and lied to you. Um, but let's see. No. No, 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 no. Sorry, let's go back to hers. This is telling me that they ended things with someone. They're they're not in a, they're not dealing with someone else sexually with the Ten of Swords. Justice isn't being honest about that. You may think that they are, but they're not. All right. So they cut off all um, sexual communication. Like they're not dealing with that person on any type of level sexually. So let's see, Taurus, how this person is feeling towards you sexually. Sorry. Let's see. We have a Queen of Wands. They're really attracted to you. They think that you're like like so like you may be kind of like um, promiscuous. Um, you may do different type of things, you know, like to turn them on. Let's see. Five of swords. You know how to get in their head. All right. You know how to turn them on. The six of pentacles. Um, you guys both give in to each other. So like you guys both know how to get in each other's heads and turn each other on. Or like, this can be someone that's like, um, starting trouble, you know, like you just know how to get to them, you know how to get, get them hard, you know how to turn them on, you know what they like, or this is you all, like the, the five, it can be like you just doing different things that turn them on, and like it's like you got them in their head, so it's, I'm not saying you got them whipped, but it's like, they're just like dang, like I wasn't expecting that um, let's see we have the chariot, yeah so somebody likes sex toys, you guys like to have rough sex um I feel like someone is like always horny for the other person though. Let's see. And then we have the nine of cups. Yeah, you guys both turn each other on. Yeah. Yeah, you guys always seem to turn each other on. Let's see. Ace of Cups. But there is like it's it's it actually really is like love or strong feelings that you guys have towards each other. Um, and I feel like this person, Taurus, um, you have done different things with this person. Okay, so there's things that you've done with this person that you've never done with someone before. That's what I'm also getting. All right. So then we have the Ten of Wands here. We have the Five of Pentacles reverse. So um, this is what they're wanting from you. So like I said, I feel like this person is wanting you to give them a chance. All right, let's see. Eight of Wands reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. The Shame Card reverse. Yeah, see, someone may be doubting this. Someone may be doubting this relationship. Maybe someone's not confident. Someone could be doubting things. And it, like I said, it could be because there was a, a triangle, a third party, or someone else was, was in between you guys, you know? Um, let's see why this Nine of Pentacles is coming up in reverse. The Two of Wands and the Page of Cups. Someone's made a decision. Like, someone knows who they want to be with. But I feel like someone is doubting. So someone could have insecurities. Remember, we have the mirror here. Okay, so someone went through something in a past relationship or went through something and someone could just feel like, you know, like this can be insecurities, doubts with a strength card, someone's healing, you know, from this situation. So you are this person that's healing from a karmic situation or a bad situation and someone's insecurities, you know, could trigger them or make them feel some type of way and, and feel like, you know, like it, or is, is what we're doing right, you know? So let's pull your messages for the extended reading, um, Taurus. So let's see what does this person bring or provide to the relationship? We have the tower. Um, where do you stand in this person's life? We have the Knight of Cups. What indicates that you should work on this relationship? We have the Page of Wands. Um, what do you need to avoid? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what outside influences are coming in between this relationship. We have the Everything is Fine card. It's kind of like the Ten of Swords. Um, let's see what do you need. No, sorry. Let's see where you guys are currently blocked at. Ace of Wands. So I don't, okay. Um, is there a possibility of commitment? 
We have the lovers. Will they ever commit to you? We have the sun card. Wild Taurus. This looks really good. Um, and then where is this relationship headed? Three of Pentacles. It's all going to work out. All right, Taurus. I love you guys. I will see you guys on the other side. All righty, Taurus. I will pin the link to the extended in the comments below. All right. Bye, loves.